Here to welcome Dominique to the Hall of Fame is Julia Serving. Ladies and gentlemen, Dominique Wilkins. Oh, wow. I'm surprised I made it up those steps. You know, first I would like to say thank you to, to Doc. I mean, I, I grew up wanting to be like Dr. J. And he's like a big brother to me in, in, in a lot of ways. And, and I was saying to him earlier when I was a kid how I used to take this wig and run around the court with number six on, <laughs> trying to dunk. My wig never stayed on, but it looked good going up. <laughs> and there would never be another player like Dr. J. He was the guy that pushed me more than he knew. I wanted to be that guy to stand beside number six one day and say, you know, I actually played against that guy. And it's funny how life come full circle. Here's a guy you wanted to emulate your whole life, and now he's uh, introduced you to the Hall of Fame. This incredible feeling. And I'd say thanks, Doc. Well, one and only, Dr. J. <laughs> I would also like to thank all the other inductees that's here with me today. Um, guys, this is a wonderful class, and you guys don't know how much this means to me to be a part of such distinguished gentlemen, uh, competitors, knowledge of the game, the will to win. And this just is incredible feeling. I was telling Charles earlier, I was saying to, to the media earlier, you know, Joe and Charles is, is a special place in my heart because we played in, in our prime against one another, in fierce battles. But something I said about Charles earlier, and I want to say it again, He's the true meaning of a true friend because he was a, a big force in voicing his opinion, which you know he's not shy of voicing his opinion <laughs> uh, about me being the Hall of Fame, the 50 greatest, not just last year, but for years. And Charles, love you as a friend, man. You're a true friend. Thank you. <laughs> you know, you know I, I played the game of basketball with a lot of heart, a lot of will, a lot of respect. And all these guys here who are going in the Hall of Fame can tell you, if you don't love and respect this game and cherish this game and take something, out, not just from a basketball standpoint, but from a human being. Because basketball taught me how to be a man. It taught me how to develop my skill. But the basketball, for me, was easy. It was becoming a young man was the hardest thing. And coming up in Baltimore, Maryland, where I had older guys to take me under my wing and made me appreciate this game, make me believe that I can play this game on any level. And I didn't know that I would end up here one day um, because as a young man, this is far away from your mind. The Hall of Fame, we don't think about the Hall of Fame as young men. You just think it's a, you know, something in the distant future. But it's amazing the people that come through your life, the people that push you to have excellence in your life. And you know, there's so many people here I could thank, but you know, I'll be all night, and I only got about five or six minutes, so you know, I try to be brief. But I, the guys that I, I would first like to thank is those guys that I grew up with in Baltimore, Maryland, O'Donnell Hikes, that really put me, helped put me on this level. Going right into high school, a, a guy named Coach Dave Smith. Matter of fact, I ran into a, one of my teammates today I hadn't seen in over 25 years. His name is Bobby Parker who um, made me understand how special this is, that people who you haven't talked to in many years still show the love and respect for you to show up and support you. And I just want to say, Bobby, thanks for coming. It's good to see you, and uh, we won't lose touch again, I guarantee you. Um, I like to thank, I like to thank the, the University of Georgia. Actually, before I get I want to thank my, my high school, because Dave Smith was the motivating force in my young career. And, he refused to let us quit. He refused to let us give up. And it's a poem he used to make us say every day called Don't Quit. I'll get to that in a minute. I'll give you a couple lines from that. But it's, at the time, I thought it was silly, but it meant a lot to me over the years. He was the guy who took all of us under his wing and made us believe that we couldn't be beat. And we ended up winning 76 games with one loss in three years under his tutelage. That's a still an incredible record that hasn't been broken in the state of North Carolina. So I was very proud to play for Coach Dave Smith. So wherever you are, Coach, you know, we love you. And 
hey, you're the main reason why I'm here, and we really appreciate you as, as a person as well as a coach. I also would like to thank Coach Hugh Dern, you know, with the highest, squeakiest voice probably in basketball. And, you know, he was like the daddy to everybody on our team. He was one of the most motivating people I've ever met, who was like a sixth man out there on the floor that made sure that you played on a level every night that he knew you could play it. And Hugh has been a, a strong force in my life. And I remember when I was debating about going into pros, he said, son, you know, I would love for you to stay in college. You know, we're going to miss you, but it's time for you to go. And I don't want to be the one to hold you back. And for that, I mean, I have a lot of respect and a lot of love for Coach Dern because he was up front with me. He told me the truth. He made me believe that I would be a great player one day, even when I didn't even know that. So, Coach Dern, if you're here, and I'm sure you are here, um, thank you for being a friend in my family. Thank you for being in my life. Thanks, Coach. Um, also, I would like to thank um, the Hawks organization. A lot of great people who have passed through the organization that I've been a part of. And those people who helped elevate me in that organization is still friends of me to, to this day. You know, it got a lot of our owners here who, one of our owners, Rux for Seidel, who I went to college with, and can't believe he's an owner. I got to take orders from him. And um, Michael and Michael Sr., the two people who I love dearly, people who've been instrumental in my life. Now they're the owners of our team, and they've been so inspirational in my life. They've done so much for me as a person, and I want them to know here tonight that I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Thank you, I love you guys very much. <clears throat> I also like to thank the rest of the Hawks organization. It's hard to get to everybody, but from Bernie Mullen to Billy Knight to Arthur Trish to all those people who's been instrumental in my success in basketball on and off the floor. But I have to give a special thanks to one of my best friends and one of the most fierce competitors I ever played with is Doc Rivers. Doc Rivers is the, probably one of the biggest reasons why I've been successful in basketball. Because even though I might have been a team captain or a team leader, Doc Rivers was our leader. He was the only guy who wasn't afraid to tell me if I took a bad shot or not. And that was often. <laughs> but you know, Doc has been a true friend to me. He's been a guy who's excelled in his own craft, and I'm really proud of him, I'm, I'm, and I'm really excited for where you've been in life, and I wish you continued success. And also, uh, Joel Toole, I know you're here and your wife, and I wish you the best. He was my first NBA trainer, had some tragedy in his life, and I want you to know we're we always going to love you, man, and you can get through anything if you have enough faith. And um, i also like to thank one of the most underrated coaches in the league, in my opinion is Mike Fratello. I didn't really realize or appreciate how much Mike Fratello meant to me as a coach. Because at times, I thought Mike hated me. Because <laughs> he, he would never call me by my name. I won't tell you what he called me, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he, 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 was, he was the guy who pushed me every single night. Because he knew if he could get in my face, get on my case, and degrade me at times, <laughs> um, he could get on anybody because he knew that would, that would push me to play the best that I could play. And I remember him at times telling, pulling me to the side, going out of the locker room. He said, okay, let's cut the crap, Nick. Go win the game for me. If I can do this to you, I can do it to anybody on this team. You are a leader. Get out there and play. And I have a lot of respect for Mike because Mike taught me the game on a whole different level. And we used to call him the littlest big man in town and because he wasn't afraid of anything. And I want to tell you, Mike, I love you as a friend, as a coach, and I hope our friendship in the life, I mean, go a lifetime. Thanks a lot. And I also like, <laughs> thank you. I also like to thank my family, my mother Gertrude, who's been the backbone of our family, who really, really focused on succeeding in life. I mean, to take eight kids out of projects, to eight, raise eight kids by itself, is unheard of, and it's, in today's world, can't be done. Uh, without having some sort of problem with your kids, you know, in the process. And, and Mom, you know, we all love you and appreciate all you've done for us. My sisters, Wanda, Cynthia, April, G Dolly, my brothers, my brothers John and James, my brother Joe, who had a great career in his own right with the New York Knicks most of his, 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 um, his career. And I have to give a special, special um, word to my nephew, Damien. 
uh, I never got a chance in the last two years since he got drafted to really say something to him. And I wanted to tell him that I'm very proud of him. He'd been through a lot. Nobody believed this kid could play. A lot of talk, though, well, he's Dominique's nephew, and we don't really be the guy to cut him, you know. But through hard work and determination, and I remember telling him, I said, hey, if nothing wrong with making it the hard way, you take that Wilkins name, and you make not only yourself proud, you make your dad proud, you make your family proud, because I know you can do it. And he proved all the doubters wrong. And now he's an NBA player with the Seattle Supersonics. And I want to say to Damien, I love you, son. You made us proud. All right. I also like to give thanks to my family, my wife, Robin, who's uh, been a strong force, has been, made me appreciate family life, you know. And um, she's, been, she's been a rock for me, and, and sweetheart, I love you. And, uh, you know, we, we're starting our own little basketball team here. I have my son, Isaiah, and, and Jacob here. And you know, I, I try, I'm, I'm going to try my best to teach them the same principles and values of, game, of this game and of life that I was taught. And hopefully, I, I will be able to do a good job of that if they listen. So I want to tell you guys, I love you all. And it just goes back to those words my coach used to say, it used to make us recite that poem, Don't Quit, when I was a kid. And if I can give you a couple of lines from it, if I can remember some of it, and Bobby's here, he knows what I'm talking about. And it was a very inspirational poem because it made us feel like we couldn't lose. And the poem was called Don't Quit. And it went, I'll give you a couple of lines, it says, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, and the road you're trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Because life is geared with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learn. And he learned too late when the night came down how close he was to the golden crown. So don't give up, though the pace seems slow, you may succeed with another blow. Thank you. Thank you. So, thank you. So, in closing, in closing, I like to say to Commissioner Stern, it's what a, a wonderful job you've done with this league, and thank you for the opportunity and the pleasure and play for the greatest game on earth. That's the NBA basketball. Thanks to the Hall of Fame for inducting me and all the fans around the world who's been a part of our lives here. And I would like to give a special thanks to the city of Atlanta because, you know, you guys made me feel like I'm your native son, and I love you forever. Thank you.